Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now September 6th of 2023 and given that there has been a lot of things happening behind closed doors involving Snow White 2024 ahead of the D23 event, which by the way, there's a lot of struggles between different board members and Bob Iger on their decision on whether or not they want to even release an official trailer right now for that D23 event that kickstarts, I believe it's on September 9th. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into the subject, shall we? Now, we know that the Snow White writers and the director, Mark Webb, have been going through a lot of drama behind the scenes for Snow White, specifically based on all the changes that are going through this film per Disney's request, such as cutting a lot of scenes, tightening up the movie, and also, you know, enhancing some of the scenes in the third act of the film and how they recently canceled the ending. We talked about that a couple of days ago, about how they are really trying to shorten the running time of this film. We already discussed how this movie was going to be near three hours long, two hours and 40 some minutes. They're cutting back on that drastically right now to kind of find the right running time that's going to suit the audiences out there. So what's intriguing about this latest development involving Snow White 2024 has a lot to do with more drama related to the Snow White writers and even director Mark Webb and why Disney is causing a lot of this trouble behind the scenes and either for better or worse is going to be a thing that a lot of fans will make their minds up you know over once this film d drops by March of 2024. Now, with Snow White 24 going through many issues behind the scenes, one major development has to do with the Snow White director having growing issues with Disney behind the scenes. One significant update has to do with the fact that director Mark Webb has been having an ongoing battle with Disney and how they finalized their decision on excluding the seven magical creatures as much as possible from the official trailer. Now, Webb was surprisingly defending the original cut of the trailer to feature the seven dwarfs and is also growing very angered over the fact that Disney is now forcing him to inform the editors that they will be cutting roughly 30% of the footage related to the seven dwarfs in the final cut of the film as well in order to reduce backlash as much as possible. This is something that Webb has been fighting back and trying to put a stop to since Webb is the only one who felt that this was his best directed series of scenes were the ones featuring the magical creatures. Writers Greta Gerwig and Aaron Wilson, surprisingly, are also very angry with Disney and their latest decision on the cutbacks of the seven magical creatures as they were the ones that wrote these characters and to have them hold a major influence over the second and third act of the film. Now guys, let me stop here quick. For those of you that do not know, uh, Greta Gerwig, Gerwig and Aaron Wilson, the writers of Snow White, they are the ones that wrote the seven magical creatures the way that they are. And they were instructed by Disney on how to write these characters. So they are very offended over the fact that Disney is forcing them to cut back on various scenes. They are telling Mark Webb that these scenes must go, you know, they're telling the editors that it has to be done this way or that way in order to minimize the amount of backlash. And to Disney, one thing I really have to say is that they shouldn't have even done this in the first place. For those of you that are left very confused why the dwarfs are the way that they are in Disney, part of it, yes, was from Disney's, you know, overall thought and how they actually had a vision for Snow White, but really the final push of them making this decision was all rooted back to Peter Dinklage. He is the one that did not want actual dwarfs to be portrayed in Snow White, nor did he want this movie to be called Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. He felt that was going to be very offensive to the dwarfism community. And you know what, that just goes to show you that I feel Peter Dinklage does not want any kind of competition in the film industry. He wants to be the guy. That's what it comes across as to me at least. I don't know about you guys out there. Whether or not you agree or disagree is fine. But that's how I feel about the whole Peter Dinklage situation is that he wants no competition at all and he wants nobody to get in his way of his career opportunities. Now we, know, we already have seen what they are doing with the Wonka film. I don't know if you guys saw, but Hugh Grant 
is CGI created as an Oompa Loompa. Once again, another prime example of not really opening the gateway to possibilities for people within the dwarfism community to get acting gigs. And it's kind of, you know, offensive. It really is for Disney and other Hollywood studios out there to do such a thing like that. So moving onwards, on top of this, the writers of Snow White are also battling against Disney to keep the footage of the seven magical creatures and are said to be deeply offended over their decision on the cutbacks of the film and for the official trailer to not reveal that as much as originally planned. Between the writers and director Mark Webb all pushing back against Disney to defend the scenes of the dwarfs, this is only making the drama worse behind the scenes for Snow White 2024. The writers were also contacted to help remake another Snow White film by Disney with a new cast and they immediately rejected this offer reportedly behind the scenes. So guys, we talked about this too, Disney's also embracing a brand new remake of Snow White, kind of similar to what they want to do now with rebooting the Maleficent movies and creating a new version of Sleeping Beauty. They want to do the same exact thing here ever since the two prequel films of Snow White and the sequel fell apart in order to embrace a brand new Snow White film that will pay more attention to the source material, yes, but also fully embracing DEI to a full scale like we have never seen before in any Disney movie out there. Which honestly is not going to work. People are not going to accept that. People are not going to watch any of that nonsense, let's be real. But the fact that the writers want nothing to do with that is very telling and it's very revealing about how Disney is only creating more enemies in the Hollywood sphere, whether it be directors or writers, because this is now going to spread internally. You know, whatever writers that they know, they're going to tell them never to join Disney because of what they're doing. Now look, I'm not defending the seven magical creatures. I think that they're awful. I think that they're a terrible addition to this film. But it just goes to show you that when it comes to Disney, it's always about, you know, people at the higher up or people like writers and directors, they eventually eat each other. They really do. They eventually go at each other and they fall into creative differences. There's always some kind of drama going on. This is just typical Disney, whether it be Indiana Jones 5, Star Wars, or in this case, Snow White 2024. So I would like to really hear what you all have to say about this entire scenario between what's going on with the magical creatures and how they're dialing back on 30 some percent of footage in the final cut of Snow White and also keeping them down to a bare minimum footage wise in the up and coming official trailer. And about that trailer, we have more to talk about that tomorrow. So stay tuned. There are a lot of developments on what's going to be happening with D23. A lot of board members are getting wet feet and are really getting very scared about releasing this thing. And there have been discussions of delaying this movie past that March window. That's a big possibility as well. So anyway, guys, drop a comment below. Fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys next time.